Oh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Nationwide here, your host of Mr. Nationwide Entertainment. So, how's everybody doing on Sunday Funny? Well, it's the first time I had Sunday off in a, you know, a few months. So, uh, just uh, doing the usual thing on Sundays. You know, just come, just come from some old job at the shop, a different shop. How are you doing and stuff? And then, uh, you know, I'd go have lunch. And they maybe look at the bells for a little bit, see what they got that I couldn't possibly get. But, you know, just like taking a look at and getting the LU car washed because you know I went mud for a little bit, but it, the whole truck's I never had the whole truck filled with mud or anything, but it's just like little flings of it. Yeah, so and then some areas are cleaner than others because the rock panels like I got mud flaps. But Wednesday you're just gonna do a better job on you know washing it completely. Yeah, and then uh, oh some other things. Then I was watching the football game. It was the you know, the Steelers versus the Eagles. And, you know, I thought it might be a good, good one, especially the Pennsylvania rivalry. And, but, why well, I could not stand is the fucking Eagles beating the Steelers. Like, what what the fuck? Like, come on, now. Oops. Yeah, because I thought Pittsburgh's going on a good record for the season, but, fuck. I mean, it, it was embarrassing because, like, the Steelers won six Super Bowls. And the Eagles never won a Super Bowl, but somehow we're beating the Steelers. It's, it's crazy. Well, this is over at home. I mean, not at home. This is over in, in Philly. Yeah. Well, my uncle don't like the, the Eagles anyway. He's a Cowboys fan, but yeah, you know, we both made fun of the Eagles. Yeah. But I mean, especially with the quarterback they had Wentz over in, uh, over in Philly, he's about almost as big as Rossberg. I think Rossberg is like six five and two forty. Uh, I mean, that's a big guy for a quarterback. Like, he's a little bit bigger than John Elway, or maybe Terry Bradshaw, or somebody, or Hallie Long. Oh, who knows? Yeah, and then watched a little bit of the Panthers game, uh, you know, a little bit on TV when I was just walking by. And I saw the Cam Newton, like, his, uh, I don't know, his leg, or his ankle, or his leg went the opposite direction of what it's supposed to be. Like, he twisted his ankle or something. So I'm just hoping he ain't been out for the season. Is that they had his uh, back quarterback Anderson, who's been there for six seasons, taking over. Actually, Cam Newton is not a bad player, you know, for Panthers. But uh, while they're playing with the, the Minnesota Vikings, and now with something though, like that rioting going on, they still have, they still are playing the you know the football game though. But you know they had they had some police there and the National Guardsmen, yeah, just guarding the you know this uh, Bank of America Stadium. Yeah, just in case those uh, hooligans uh, start trying to cause some ruckus crashing the football game, there'll be no way they'll do it. Because, uh, well, about over a year ago when they had that right in in uh, Baltimore, they were doing the same thing when they had the Orioles game. I, I forgot who the Orioles were playing against, but it was on a home game. Camden Field or something. I, I couldn't name this. I can't, I can't think of the name of the field they were at. But it, it was a huge ruckus going on there. Yeah, this fucking camera mount. I probably had to readjust it when I parked somewhere again. Yeah, so, you know, last night I came back to Karaoke Engine, so you probably saw that video of me uh, singing Surrender by uh, Cheap Trick, which was a good one. This is my first time singing it. But uh, I was able to get some songs in there. Well, we got the mic stand, like, uh, uh, maybe an hour later after that. And then, uh, another thing, let's see. Ooh, I better speed up, because uh, the destruction zone was like, 60 miles an hour, so I had to put up to 65. I guess it's not going to do much damage to the ball. Hold on. Alright, this fucking piece of shit camera should mount. Okay. So, I got the same songs. Uh, let's see. The second of song I was singing. Uh, fuck, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Uh, oh, yeah, I was singing Blind by the Light. But I want to sing the longer version of it. And then that's when the mic stand comes in the third song I was doing. So I was singing uh, Looks to Kill by Motley Crue because there was a bachelorette party. But and that bachelorette party didn't turn out right. I think that girl was like younger than me in the back of the bride to be. Like she came and talked to me. I didn't come and talk to her. She came and talked to me. Like, wow. Oh. But it's even weird. Her mom was there at the party. Like, she was like, no way. I don't know. I don't want to guess how old is she, but it'd be kind of weird just going after the father. This 
girl could be possibly around my age, married somebody around the same age. I, I, I thought that was some cat dickered. And then, there was another karaoke DJ I knew from like a couple years back from another bar, uh, White Oak Lounge that I used to go, uh, back when I was working at Sam's Club, but I was working at Kermit's schedule every Friday night that I was able to go there, so that's why I haven't gone there since like 2014. And then, uh, then there's another one, oh, she's a redhead, I thought she looked fine though, but when I asked someone else, like, how old is she? Turns out she was 50, like, oh, no. I was like, get to for like Dane William, like, maybe 40, be fine. Yeah, I mean, I changed my mind about, like, not wanting to date an older one because I haven't dated an older one lately, and it kind of bothered me more, so I figured just give them a you know, chance. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm 28, so, like, I'm going to be like, the same age as my father, who's 50. And my mom's 55, so, like, it's not going to work great. Right. It's actually coming from a different generation. Yeah. I mean, there's this uh, woman I know who's, like, 40, and, like, me and her mom kind of well, I mean, they're talking to each other bingo tonight. Then, let's see what else happened after that. So, anyway, we went over to uh, Lock and Load to just look for uh, Johnny Boy, see if he's there, and then that bingo host was there. And then uh, we we're all talking, and oh, I bumped into a dude I went to high school with. I haven't seen him for like 10 years. Oh, he graduated a year uh, earlier than I did, but we're the same age, and uh, oh, there was some stuff going on. Like, we're talking about this other dude that we know. Uh, he. I don't know, he was like rock bottom, like homeless, and he's like, he's on heroin and shit. I'm like, damn. Like, every time I see him, like, when I used to saw him back from uh, 2007 to 2009, he, he was like, working different jobs each time. Like, damn, he don't last long in the jobs and shit. But then, last time I saw him, I was like, I was with a girl, and we were hanging out, we were over at uh, Walmart, it was back when I had the Chrysler. And uh, so, he gets to the, you know, if I can give him a ride somewhere, I said, sure, I'll just stop in, and then he was in the back seat. So he was making a phone call, and then he changed his mind, or something, and asked him, well, where's he, like, living at? And he said, I, I just house hopping at the moment. House hopping? What the hell, dude? Uh, have you thought about moving back to your dad's house? And he said, oh, his dad moved back, back to upstate New York. I said, why? The house got foreclosed here. I'm thinking that family's not doing so well. Like, there's another dude I know, gradually, like, two years of that he did. I mean, no, two years later after him. And uh, he, he was in some kind of problem where that, I don't know, he like he got arrested. The last time I saw him, he was getting arrested like on the side of Timber Drive. Just on the way over to uh, uh, White Oak Shopping Center. Like, damn. What's going on? Like, there's some fuckers around. All right. And then, well, so anyway, you know, I mean, uh, my friend back in high school, uh, we might hang out one day. And then he was telling the story, you know, the story about how uh, back in high school, like, there's a couple of hoogans that, you know, about to get in the fight. And then uh, my friend there uh, saved the day. It was great. It, like, the way he's telling the story, it's like, uh, you know, we both served in the war together, telling a great war story. Like a war hero. Uh, so that, that was pretty cool. And then we were talking about some of the girls that we knew at that time. and. Oh, of course. Back in that, back in that time, man, there were some girls that were, like, out of my lead. Like, I dated some girls and stuff, but uh, nothing worked out. Uh, you know, right for, you know, to have, like, a city girlfriend, but it's just, like, one girl after another. It's like, and then some of them were coming and going. I mean, I mean, this is back in high school, I man. It, it got better after high school a little bit. But some of them acted kind of weird. Like, they think, what? Well, I think a guy like me didn't have anything to offer. Like, well, this is back in high school. Like, how, how am I gonna have all that money to buy stuff for myself and to buy stuff for her? Like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't worry about that it, too much, you know, unless you're like up your own. Unless you're like in your 20s. Yeah. But, you know, that's that's why I only want to date girls that I knew from high school. Even if I bump into them somewhere else, like, I still don't want to do it. <laughs> Cause, yeah, I mean, it's already too late. Especially, you know, I'm missing out things where, well, I mean, they'll be impressed when they see that I'm a mechanic now, you know, for good year. You know, and, you know, I drive a male Yukon, you know, and you know, stuff I put in the trucks and everything. You know, I'll change a little bit, you know, my looks and they grew a few inches taller. Gained a couple of pounds in my fat gut, because I was skinny at that time. And things changed. Yeah, but uh, one day I'll probably have uh, my friend from high school to be in one, one of my videos with me, like, uh, you know, we're going to hang out, 
So I'm thinking I gotta look at the schedule to see if I'm see if I'm off Friday or Saturday or Sunday. If I'm off Sunday, it'll be karaoke night. But if I had to work on Saturday and Sunday, or if I got off earlier on Saturday, it'll yeah, be bingo night at Hooters Saloon. So I'll probably not play him because of that. Oh, also we were talking about this other dude. Uh, his name is Josh Davis. Weird thing is, uh, <clears throat> he was murdered. This is before I moved to Gar, like a few months before. Like he died, he was killed like in January of 2004. I, I was living in Apex at the time, and I didn't move to Gar until like March of that same year. And you know, I changed from schools and stuff. And uh, so, the thing is, like, what, what I've been hearing that it turns out that he got hit by a passing car with a pipe sticking out, or something sticking out, like in the back of his head, didn't see who it was. Well, his cousin was there with him, and they saw saw his car doing it. And I was talking to the bingo host about it, and guess what? She said that she lived in that house, and, and the dude's cousin like went and talked to her, told her about what happened, that he was killed, and asked to use the phone and call 911 and stuff, and became friends with his mom, and then, you know, the dude's aunt. Uh, it was crazy, though. But nobody ever knew what happened. It was like a maybe an unsolved mystery or something. I mean, you can, you can ask somebody in the Garden Police Department, and they still wouldn't find out who did it. And it's been going on, like, last 12 years yeah so I mean Josh Davis you know rest in peace you know God may rest your soul yeah it's crazy so anyway I'm in Morrisville now so I should be getting to Durham like uh, maybe a few more miles and then just uh, start dancing there yeah the last time I've been in the studio is like probably that second date I had with that girl I think hope you keep it we had fun there, but we haven't gone back to the studio since. And I didn't go back there just you know, dancing, and then since I see the Steelers losing, you know, I'm also go anyways. But I should have went there last Sunday, but you know, me and some friends met up over Clayton to go to the carnival they had downtown, and oh, they already shut it down. Like, if I would have known it was last night, like, the, the one time they're gonna shut it down, then I probably would just not go to Clayton for nothing. I would just gone to the damn dance studio, like, Crash Valley Mall, like, over for the shop where I'm working at. Well, by that area, and I can just get there from US 70. All you have to do is go to the Pine Fitness, you know, another gym, like it's like up halfway. Just uh, pretend I'm doing some exercise and just go in the, you know, ride the, you know, the, the, the bicycle, the, the exercise bike for like 10 minutes, and then just uh, bring some of my extra, my extra clothes that I use for the dance studio, and then just uh, take a shower there in the locker room, and then put the clothes in there, and then just uh, drop the rest of the way to Durham, the same, you know, highway there, until I find my way to Pine Fulmer, which is real easy, and get there. Which save me time and gas going back to Garner to go home and take a shower and put my uh, my change of clothes and stuff and then go back to Durham late. Yeah, so oh, it's, it's all figured out. So anyway, uh, this will be all. So uh, just uh, stay tuned of uh, which episode uh, comes next. It, it might be a surprise. Who knows? So just uh, take care, friends. Later.